right? And then with one more door to hack and kill the people inside. Um, basically, those three buildings should be enough to get us McCready's uh, affinity up. Nice. So that'll be Preston, well, Codsworth, Dance, Preston, and McCready's affinity. Drop us off first. Brotherhood of Steel, let us stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Really? And why would I want to stay out of good neighbor? Go wherever I want. Don't you just try and stop me? Hi. McGrady. I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> you haven't been avoiding me, have you? <laughs> Someone as cute as you, Daisy. Uh, you have a lot of but I'll just play stupid and pretend I don't know that. So, what do you need? I got it, Daisy. I found the cure to Duncan's disease. Oh my god, that's wonderful news. How'd you do it? Last time you tried, the ferals almost chewed you to bits. I didn't do it alone. A friend here got me through med tech. Now, all I need you to do is to get the cure into Duncan's hands. Can you help me? Of course, McCready. You've saved my behind more than once. It's the least I can do. It's okay. You can trust me. I swear I'll get the cure to Duncan. Sure, here, take it. I don't have a problem with that. Then it's settled. I'll get the sample on the first caravan leaving the Commonwealth. The driver owes me a few favors. And he's reliable. It will arrive at your homestead in no time, McCready. Thanks. You're a doll. Hey, do me a favor. Take care of McCready for me. He's one of the good ones. Yeah. Still not ban him. In other words, you missed every shot. Job done. I'm sorry, were you speaking to me? From wherever you're hiding? Where's he hiding? Hold on. Uh. I think, I think we, we need to talk. talk. Go for sure. it. Sure, go ahead. Appreciate it. I've been waiting for the right moment to talk to you. I suppose this is as good a time as any. After helping me get Duncan's cure for MedTech, I figured I owe you something. And I always pay my debts. Here. I wanted you to have this. A wooden soldier made of ceramic. Go figure. I know a carved toy soldier is a strange reward for risking your life, but this one's special. It means a lot to me. If it's 
special to you, then it's a thoughtful gift. Thank you. You're welcome. Just be sure you don't lose it. My wife Lucy gave this to me right after we met. I, uh, I told her I was a soldier and she made it for me. I never could bring myself to tell her the truth. I was just a hired killer. The soldier story was the best thing I could come up with. I didn't want to lose her because of what I was. Find out the truth? No. It doesn't really matter anymore. She died a few years back. We made the mistake of pulling up at a metro station one night. We didn't know that the place was infested with ferals. They were on her before I could even fire a shot. Ripped her apart right in front of me. There was nothing I could do. Took everything I had to escape with Duncan in my arms. Maybe it would have been better if we died there with her. No one deserves to die like that. I suppose you're right. I don't know anymore. Damn, I miss Lucy. No matter how bad things got, she was always there with her shoulder to lean on. It gave me... Well, it, it gave me the courage I needed to press ahead. To never give up. When she died, I thought that feeling was gone forever. And I met you. You have the world's problems in your back, and here you are helping me with mine. Lending me your shoulder like Lucy did. I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me. Hey, only best friends can share feelings like that with each other. And I aim to keep it that way. Anyway, thanks for hearing me out. Taking all that weight off my shoulders makes the journey a little easier, if you know what I mean. Speaking of which, it's about time we got back on the road, don't you think? and stop stealing crap. Alright, time to go and see Charlie. Time to get peeper. <coughs> I toss out the troublemakers. I can see a trap. Whoa, that is some armor. Check out those hydraulics. Hey, Charlie. I've heard some exterminator cleaning out the rats in the old warehouses. No anything about that, do you? I might. Depends on what you have for me. Hi, Charlotte. Lady, I need to be a lot more. Man, I'm nowhere near you. She can do one or two, one of two uh, quests in order to get Hancock. You can either do the Silver Shroud after you've done this one. Do this quest first, it's easier for you. Do the Silver Shroud, which you find over at the Memory Den, or you do the quest around the corner that's got to do with Bobby. And Hancock will. Yeah, I'm not good. Not in the mood. Got Looking for work. Like super you get those. Actually, 
I already took care of those super mutants. You did? Use your money. Thanks. Sweet. Right. So I dropped them at Red Rock. I don't know why. I just do for some reason. I could drop them up in Sanctuary and hide my bed. Because the minute I drop them in Sanctuary, he steals my bed on me, so. The only companions ever really leave in Sanctuary now are Preston, Codsworth and Dance. Everybody else gets dumped off in Red Rock. I could do someone going down to there. Um, okay. Um, what am I going to do for him? I suppose we could build him a shop or something. Where'd he go? There it is. What's up? Need something? Hold up a sec. Here. This should help keep you alive. Must be joking. We should go our separate ways. All right. I, uh, just be careful. Yeah, whatever. Where am I? Red Rocka. There you are. Right. Uh. Hey, you're doing food. Any more beds? But can I fit in another one of them things? Let's see. Eh, not wonderful, but all day. I don't know what they're unhappy about. They've got food, they've got water, they've got power, they've got defences, they've got beds. I really don't think there's much else we could need. 